what do you see here? So many cameras. Well, I have an interesting career choice for you. And that is of a space photographer. Yes, have you ever heard of a space photographer? Well, do you know what do they do? They take photograph of the Earth's climate from space, right? They help us determine the Earth's climate and understand what are the different types of climates across the world. So this is definitely an interesting career choice and you must think of taking this up. So let's go fly a kite. But wait, it suddenly starts raining. And then after an hour, it's suddenly sunny again. Oh, you see a rainbow. Well, you see that these frequently changing atmospheric conditions is nothing but weather. So weather conditions can vary very frequently. It can be sunny sometimes, well, it can be cloudy, right? So these are the different weather conditions. Let's see. If you have ever noticed a winter morning, an early winter morning, you must be seeing that it's very hazy or it's very unclear. Traveling becomes very, very risky. Why so? It is because of the presence of fog. So such mornings are usually known as, as a foggy morning. So foggy is just another weather condition. While a little later you see in the morning around 11 to 12, you see that the sun is up and it's really sunny. So sunny is another weather condition. While in the afternoon, late afternoon around 3 to 4, you see that black clouds are covering the entire sky. So it becomes cloudy. So you see that weather conditions can occur very frequently in a day. There could be two to three types of weather condition. So the weather conditions are foggy, cloudy, sunny, rainy, thunderstorm, snowy or even a tornado. Yes. So these are the different types of weather conditions. So what exactly is weather? Frequently changing atmospheric condition is weather. So what do you see here? You see a map of South America. There's something called Amazon rainforest written here, right? Most of us here must have heard about this famous Amazon rainforest. Why? Because it is one of the most densely forested area in the world. Why so? The Amazon rainforest covers most of the Amazon basin in South America, that is right here, and it receives rain almost every day or throughout the year. Wow! Receiving rain throughout the year or every day. Now, there must be a specific reason behind this. Yes. This is because it falls in the equatorial region. So where do we find this equatorial region? Region that is on or around the equator, right here. So you see that the equator crosses the northern part of South America where the Amazon rainforest is present. Now because this region is present in the equatorial region, this region receives direct rays of the sun. And because it receives direct rays of the sun throughout the year, the evaporation from the surrounding water bodies happens at a much faster rate. This leads to cloud formation and therefore this receives abundant amount of rainfall almost every day. And that is why this region is said to have an equatorial type of climate or a tropical rainforest climate. So what do we see here? We see that the climate is coming in, right? The weather that we talked about a while ago is not same as that of the climate. Why so? Basically, climate covers the frequent changes of weather conditions in an area over a very long period of time. So it studies the pattern of weather changes, right? So different weather changes or different weather conditions together in particular area is studied over a long period of time. That determines the climate of that area. So the different climatic conditions includes polar climate, 
temperate climate, tropical climate and the desert climate. Can you guess why rice is a staple food for the South Asians while Europeans prefer eating bread? This is simply because crop cultivation is different in these two regions. For South Asians, it is easier to cultivate rice than wheat because of the favorable condition. Southeast Asia experiences a wet and warm climate which is favorable for the cultivation of rice and that is why South Asians find it easier to grow rice in this region while Europe on the other hand experiences a cool and dry climate which is favorable for the cultivation of wheat and that is why it is easier for them to grow wheat than rice and that is why they prefer bread over rice. So you see that the climatic conditions of the area can determine the crop cultivation of that area and also decide what the people in that region or in that area eats. While climate can also decide what we wear or our everyday lifestyle. In countries like India, people prefer wearing light loose clothes. This is because it helps them to keep themselves cool. Right, while in regions or while in places that fall in the polar region, you see it's so cold, it's almost covered with ice everywhere. So, places like Finland or Iceland or Ireland, people there prefer wearing woolen and heavy clothes because it is so cold, wearing woolen clothes helps them to keep themselves warm. So, you see that different climatic conditions at different places of the world determines the lifestyle of the people along with what they eat or what they wear. So, climate plays a very important role in our day-to-day -day lives. Polar climate is basically a dry and cold climate. So regions that experience polar climate tend to experience warm summers. While temperate climate refers to a moderate climate, right? There is light rainfall throughout the year or a section of the year and the summers are from mild to warm while winters are from cool to cold. Talking of the tropical climate, it basically has two seasons, wet rainy season or a dry season. And then we finally have the desert climate. Desert climate talks about regions that experiences very little to no rainfall at all. The evaporation is much more than precipitation. So regions that experiences a desert climate are generally referred to as arid regions because they are very, very dry. So these are the four types of climatic conditions. Before moving on, could you help me answer this question? Which of the following is not a climatic condition? Well, is it polar? Is it temperate? Is it foggy or is it tropical? We just learned that polar, temperate and tropical are climatic conditions while foggy is not a climatic condition. It is a weather condition. Therefore, the right answer here is foggy. So now that we have understood what is weather and what is climate, and we have also learned about the different weather conditions and climatic conditions, let us understand why exactly or how exactly are they different from each other. So talking about the first point, weather talks about a less aerial coverage, right? So there could be instances where cities that are very close to each other must be experiencing different weather conditions. For say, Pune on one hand is having a rainy day, while Mumbai is having a sunny day. So there's a difference in weather condition in cities that are very close to each other. So there's a less aerial coverage. The aerial coverage is very small. Weather conditions may vary from place to place. But while we are talking of climate, climate talks about a broader aerial coverage, right? So here we could be talking about a country or a continent as a whole. So we could say that India has a tropical type of climate. We cannot say that India has a rainy climate. That is wrong. 
that is a weather condition that is covering a smaller area while climate is covering a larger area so when of a particular area different weather conditions all together are taken into account then we can determine or we can name the climate of that particular area right so to define whether we could say that weather is a daily evidence so we could experience a change in the weather condition almost daily so it's a daily evidence of changes in the atmospheric condition of a particular area as i mentioned in the very beginning that there could be a day where it could be foggy in the morning while it could be sunny in the afternoon and while it could be rainy in late afternoon or in the evening so weather is a daily evidence and it changes very frequently on the other hand climate could be defined as a statistical weather data that shows an average weather condition of a specific place over a long period of time so as we just talked about india having a tropical type of climate it was only decided after studying and reading the different weather conditions of india over a very long period of time so the third difference says that weather changes very frequently yes we have been talking about this since we started talking of weather and climate so weather changes very frequently as it is a daily evidence so it changes very frequently while climate is decided over a very long period of time so it does not change that frequently and it usually is accounted after studying and reading the weather conditions of an area for nearly a decade so 10 years data of different weather conditions can only help us decide the climate of that area now the fourth difference says that since weather changes so frequently almost daily or almost after 2 3 hours we could say that it influences everyday occupation like holding an event or transportation so for say you want to go to a picnic or you want to hold an event in an open garden but is it possible if it is cloudy and there's a possibility of rain no it's not really possible so weather influences everyday occupation you must have heard that sometimes flights get delayed or trains get cancelled due to heavy rain so you see that even transportation that is a daily phenomena can be affected or influenced by different weather conditions If you remember the example that I stated a while ago where I said that south Asians eat rice more than bread. So rice cultivation is easier in countries like India because it experiences a tropical type of climate. So you see that climate can change or influence agriculture of a particular area. right and also industries so industries are of different types agriculture also is a part of industry the agro based industries so you see that all can be influenced by climate and climate may also influence the livelihood of people so from that very example if you remember i mentioned that people living in the polar regions like those living in places like ireland or iceland may prefer wearing woolen clothes almost throughout the year why because those regions experiences a polar climate so it's very very cold and wearing woolen clothes keeps them warm so climate may show considerable change in agriculture industries and even the livelihood of people lastly the study of different weather conditions is called meteorology while the study of different climatic conditions is called climatology so these were the differences between weather and climate and now we know that though they are so closely related they are not exactly the same 
So today in this video, we learnt that weather talks about frequent changes in the atmospheric condition, while climate on the other hand talks about the different weather conditions of a particular area over a very long period of time, maybe a decade. We also learned that weather on one hand could influence our everyday occupation while climate on the other hand could influence bigger things like the agriculture industry or other industries and the livelihood or lifestyle of people in a particular region. So this was the difference between weather and climate. In the next video, we will be learning about the different elements of weather. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to all our 5000 plus amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock test. Get all your doubts resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and iPads. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.